Understanding Deep Vein Thrombosis, a comprehensive guide. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to explore an important health topic that might sound complex at first but is crucial to understand. Deep Vein Thrombosis, often abbreviated as DVT. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of what DVT is, how it affects the body, and why it's important to be aware of it. Let's dive in and demystify this medical condition together. Deep vein thrombosis occurs when a blood clot forms in a deep vein, usually in the legs. This can happen due to various reasons, such as prolonged inactivity, certain medical conditions, or after surgery. The clot can block blood flow, causing swelling, pain, and redness. It's important to understand that while DVT itself can be serious, the real danger occurs if a part of the clot breaks off and travels to the lungs, leading to a pulmonary embolism, which is a life-threatening condition. Several factors can increase the risk of developing DVT. These include prolonged sitting, like during long flights or car rides, smoking, pregnancy, birth control pills, obesity, and family history of blood clots. Understanding these risk factors is crucial in taking steps to prevent DVT, especially if you have a lifestyle or condition that puts you at higher risk. Recognizing the symptoms of DVT is key to seeking timely medical help. Some common symptoms include swelling in one leg, rarely both, leg pain or tenderness often described as cramping, reddish or bluish skin discoloration, and warmth in the area of the clot. If you experience these symptoms, especially if they appear suddenly, it's essential to consult a healthcare professional immediately. Preventing DVT involves reducing your risk factors. This can include exercising regularly, staying hydrated, taking breaks to walk around during long periods of sitting, and wearing compression stockings if recommended by your doctor. Treatment for DVT usually involves anticoagulant medications, which help prevent the clot from getting bigger and reduce the risk of more clots forming. In some cases, other medical procedures might be necessary. We hope this video has helped you understand what deep vein thrombosis is, the risks associated with it, its symptoms, and how it can be prevented and treated. Remember, knowledge is the first step towards prevention. If you have any concerns or think you might be at risk, please consult a healthcare professional. Stay healthy, stay informed, and see you in our next video.